Hi everyone, it's Megan from Cluttered Crafter, and today's video is going to be Cardspiration Episode 3, and it's going to be a simple card, and I decided to do, instead of doing a voiceover, an actual speaking process video, because it's so simple, all you'll need for this video, before I get started, I found this card on Pinterest, so if I can find the original blog for the card I'll link that in the description below like always so let's get into this the things that you'll need is your card base I'm gonna be using this craft paper you'll need some type of heart punch this is where is it it says here somewhere creative memories maybe Creative Memories, and I'm going to be using the one and a half inch heart. You're also going to need scrap paper in the colors that you're using. I'm using yellow, three, at least three washi tapes in the color theme you're d doing. And then you're going to need your, uh, just a black pen, that's just my shell Sharpie fine point pen and some foam tape or foam uh, foam dots. I think I'm also going to round the corners on my card, but I'll do that later. I'll decide later. So I'm going to punch out my heart here. This is just a scrap piece of paper as you can see. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna lay that off to the side. I'm gonna bring this the card back and you're just going to put your washi tape across your card. That doesn't have to be straight. Some of them's gonna be off at an angle. I think I'm gonna put this one like that. I think I'm gonna put the striped one in the middle. These are all stamping up washi tapes. This one here, I'm going to put a little more slightly on an angle, but not as much as the first one. And then the last washi tape, I can't remember what collection these washi tapes are from. One of them could be the Not Everyday Chic, the 2014-2016 designer washi tape. Oh, no, you'll obviously also need some scissors. And this is just to trim off the excess of the tape. tape up off the craft mat so it's not sticking to so that's what you'll have then your heart you can place it whatever angle you want So I'm going to add a little tiny bit on the edge there. I 
I like to use a lot of adhesive just in case, just to be sure. And I'm going to put that on an angle there. And the last thing you'll do, I'm just going to move all this out of my way. Last thing you'll do is you can write happy birthday or whatever uh, sentiment on the bottom. But I'm going to, in the original card, it's a thank you card. And I'm going to write thank you along the bottom line of the washi tape here. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, and I'll speed this part up. Alright, and that's the bottom of it. And yeah, I think I will go ahead and round the corners. This is just my Becky Higgins corner rounder, which sometimes it gets stuck. I gotta fiddle with it a little bit. And this is the finished card. And then you can write your little note on the inside. I don't think I have a thank you stamp. Actually, I have. Thanks for thinking of me. I'm going to stamp that. This is from Ink and Ink Do. Now, I always stamp with a bit of foam underneath, and this is just an iPad case that I don't really use. I have a different case on right now. Sure your sentiment is straight. And I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black. I think in a previous video I said this was jet black, but I think that stays on. And if you mess up, you can always do like a mat over your inside. But I'm going to try to stamp this right on the inside. Oh, there's black on my fingers. Yeah, I'm going to need to fix that. I didn't realize there was black on my fingers. But that's not a problem. I already have cards cut here, and I'm going to round the corners. I want to do all the corners. Yes. Oh, that didn't really turn it that great. Alright. I think I just 
still got more ink on my arm. Okay, before I adhere down that, I'm going to stamp this out first. So that if I mess up, I can just flip it over. So again, with the ink, making sure I don't get any on my fingers this time. Move this out of the way. Bring this back in, and I need my tear tape. This is just stuff that I got from Walmart, which I actually need to get more of. Usually put about three pieces. I don't have any fingernails. They're not long anymore, so I found it a little challenging to get the up. I could probably have used my tape runner. Alright. Just stick that on and you're good to go. And then you can just write a little note or even add a note up there. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye and happy crafting.